Well, hello and welcome to day 10 of Delights of Christmas. And today we're going to a different book in the Bible. We're going to go to Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. Kind of an interesting place to be, but um, I promise we'll see some hope and joy in it. It says, Though the fig tree should not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, the produce of the olive fail, and the fields yield no food, the flock be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. God, the Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places. And so we kind of come to this passage, and it's such desperation and um, basically destruction. Um, you know, the fig tree is not blossoming, uh, the fruit on the vines aren't producing, the olives are failing, the field has no crop, and the whole flock is cut off from the fold. So we see this isolation, desperation, and it makes me think of, um, in some ways, how during this time of Christmas, we can feel isolated, we can feel desperate, we can feel um, scared and frightened. However, we look at that next that next verse and what does the phrase say it says yet i will rejoice in the lord and so that's what's so important is to remember that even though in circumstances that no matter what the circumstances are the trials the highs lows there's always room for joy where jesus is present always no matter what even in the worst of circumstances there's always room for some joy where jesus is present and i love how in habakkuk he says yet i will rejoice in the lord he is commanding his heart to rejoice and to be joyful in the lord and so maybe we ought to do that this christmas season when things are not maybe panning out the way that we thought that they would um and maybe we're in a place of desperation or Christmas is looking a lot different this year than it did last year. Yet we can command our hearts to rejoice in the Lord. And so just remember that today, that um, your joy is found in Christ and Christ alone. And that you can command your heart to rejoice in him, recalling the things that he has done and that he is your hope, your joy, and your peace. And so I guess my question for you is, are you making room for Jesus? Are you making room for joy? even in the midst of struggle and uncertainty? Are you making room for that? Are you making room for peace and hope and joy all found in Christ? And so today is our 10th day of Advent um, as we are looking toward, or not maybe not Advent, but because since the season's a little bit longer, but our 10th day of this 25 days um, of delighting in Christmas. And so how about we just pray over that, that we pray that we would command our hearts to rejoice. So Heavenly Father, God, we just, we thank you for the truth that you give us even when we are struggling. Lord, um, today I take the time to command my heart to be joyful in you. God, I command it to rejoice, to sing your praise, Lord, and to be reminded that no matter my circumstances, no matter my fear, no matter my hurt, my worry, my, um, with my circumstances that seem all possibly desperation or desolation and Lord that you are still good that you are the joy and God I ask that you would help me to make room today for Jesus help me to make room for joy even when things look dark Lord that you are the light and that I would be reminded of that and so Father we just thank you that even when life seems full and can seem very dark that you become our focus Lord and we pray that you would uh, help us to continue throughout all of today to command our hearts to rejoice in you. It's in your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And so um, our little task for today, Oh Come All You Faithful, is one of my favorite Christmas songs. So be faithful today. Be faithful. Go um, listen to pull it up on your phone. Go listen to whatever favorite version of Oh Come All You Faithful is your favorite. And just listen to it. And remember to adore him. And I bet you'll find a little bit of joy, a little bit of hope, and make room for some Jesus there to adore him and to rejoice in him, even despite circumstances. So you be blessed today. Rejoice in the Lord. And we will see you tomorrow.